still up there? Uh -oh. <laughs> this is a uh, this is a bench warming video. We did a bench warming video a couple of years. Well, no, this is a couple. Of, what am I saying? A couple of years ago, it was like January. That's when we found a place to sit down in Graceland. And we did a we did a, a video where we talked about the events that we saw at a conversation. <laughs> conversation. Conversations, yeah. Which is awesome. Um, if you have never done conversations, you really, really should. It's really fun. A lot of times the, the guests are kind of a mystery. Um, there's always some surprises. Um, sometimes they're announced a little bit in advance. Tom Brown, the host to Below Tom Brown. To Below uh, Tom Brown. Who we met. <laughs> yeah, we talked about that in the video because I was like, do you, do, you, do you know who you are? Very, very nice man, by the way. And a good sport. And does such a good job on stage hosting, hosting those events. I mean, just a seamless, relaxed presentation. Quite funny. So, probably preaching to the choir here, but Tom Brown, shout out. And I really just, I wanted to do that video and I hope people enjoyed it for those of you who watched it. Um, we had a lot of fun making that and sharing that with you, especially yeah. for the folks who maybe weren't able to come or if you've never been, if you're like a newer Elvis fan um, and you don't know about Elvis Week or if you've just never had the chance to come but have considered going, you really have to be there to see how awesome it is. It's a lot of fun. People come from all over the world. Um, if you've never been, you will be amazed at how many people are there and how far people travel. I'm always very impressed by the dedication of the British Elvis fans as well. The British Elvis they fans are right. hardcore. <laughs> yeah. They get it right. <laughs> they don't play, man. They understand they, us more than we understand ourselves. They do. They, they, <laughs> they get us better than we do. Absolutely. And they, they totally get Elvis, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I heard a lot of people kind of express that to me. It's like, um, it's nice to be around people who get it. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know, like yeah, some of us, our friends and family, might not really get it. Yeah. And not only do they get it, but they really get it. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, this is not an anemic event by any means. No. Um, no you know, there's... people come and they're very passionate about it, and there's a great energy. Oh, they'll fight you over Elvis. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, could... like literally. Yeah, you better um... bring it, man. Cause they... <laughs> They will, they will straight up fight you over all this. <laughs> yeah. It'll, it'll be like, it'll be like fifth grade all over again. <laughs> but people come and there's just great energy and passion and a sense of community, um, you know, which is just really fun. Um, you can really let your Elvis flag fly. Um, yeah. If, like me. In fact, you better fly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there are so many other things you can do in Memphis during that time too. Um, so much history, so much great stuff to see. Well, Memphis is just an amazing town. So are you trying to put me in it? Yeah. Oh, because you want to, she wants to eat her, uh, <laughs> she wants to eat her ice cream. It's melting. I'm trying to keep me out of it. I, I just need to finish my ice cream before it melts. It's, it's all good. And I will say, if you go to Elvis Week, or even if you go to Memphis or Graceland, thinking that, okay, I'm just going to get it in my system, I'm going to go one time, it's going to be a one and done, I just want to see it. Yeah, that's um, what I thought. Yeah, you're... You will go again. Um, yeah. <laughs> you'll get the fever. <laughs> yeah, I thought, yeah, okay, we'll go to Memphis, we'll do this thing. We'll go it's to addictive. Like, yeah, it's absolutely addictive. I mean, addictive. two months hadn't even, hadn't even gone by before we were back in Memphis and back at Graceland. Yeah. Um, You're going to start looking for homes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Homes in Memphis are affordable. They're really cheap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we should think yeah. about this. Ammo's pretty cheap, too. You know, so that's good. Uh, anyway. Let's get to the point of this video. Lee Majors. Lee Majors was at Conversations talking to Tom Brown. He walked out on stage. And who knew, I didn't know, I'm sure somebody knew, that Lee Majors and Elvis were tight. You know, he was he was with Elvis in the 70s and, and Elvis even gave him like his own honorary TCB necklace. And he still wears it. I don't know if it was the International or the Hilton at that point, but he was he was hobnobbing with him there backstage, and like when he was off from shooting the Six Million Dollar Man, he came out and instead of Tom Brown interviewing him like he normally does, Lee Majors just said, "All right, look, this is how it's going to go." And he pulled out his book. Yet he, he had like a like a, a great big storybook, and he read us all the story of, of his life with Elvis. And uh, so it became the Lee Majors show, like a one-man show there for about 20 minutes or so. 
But it was, it was awesome. Really awesome. It was awesome. Yeah, it was I mean, cool. look, six million dollar man. When I was a kid, forget about it, man. I was in elementary school. I was going to elementary school in little polyester leisure suits, trying to be like trying to be like Steve Austin. <laughs> you know, I think I was the only one who knew what I was trying to be. Everybody else made up their own mind what I was. And I was not born. And yeah, and, and yeah, <laughs> Diner Darling here was just a, a twinkle. But yeah, Liam Majors, I was psyched. That was pretty awesome. I'm not sure how old he is now, but I tell you what, he's he's sharp, he's with it, he was funny, he was captivating. It was it was it was great. It and, was one of the highlights. Yeah, I mean and one of the things about the conversations is that it's a really full bill. Um, you get multiple people that come, it's very comprehensive. A lot of people come in one session. Um, and they're very affordable. I can't remember uh, exactly what the cost of this was, but uh, for what we paid for it, it was very, very, very reasonable. They're, they're, they're killing people behind us. Sorry, place. yeah, I got really loud back there. But um, yeah, on the it's, of this is ambiance. <laughs> ambiance, yeah. This is ambiance. It's like you're here. <laughs> you could almost smell the putrid funnel cake batter. <laughs> the carny dust. Just imagine uh, it. Yeah, it's so fun. <laughs> And Linda was there this year for the first time ever. Yeah, which was huge. Um, that you know, was weird. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was glad to see her. I'm just kidding. There's room for everybody, y'all. Absolutely. She was awesome. She has such a great positive energy. And, you know, she's very captivating when she speaks. Yeah. So, yeah. She's got a very, uh, she's got a very large vocabulary. Yeah, she, yeah. she pulled out some 10 cent words <laughs> while she was out there with Mr. Brown. I loved listening to her talk. I thought, yeah. Was, yeah um, she didn't lose us with the 10 cent words. Well, she lost me once, but but yeah, it was it was cool. And the one thing I really like about going to Memphis, for those folks who have never been, is that it's a place that you can go to on a budget. It's There's a lot of things to see, and I'm always surprised that I don't spend as much as I think I'm going to. You know how when you travel, you're always just kind of like resigned, like, you know, okay, yeah. I'm going to break the bank. And you get vacation brain and then start spending money. Yeah. So, of course, if you go to Graceland and you do the events there, those are going to cost, um, you know. But if you budget around that, it always surprises me how much more you can get in without really having to spend very much at all. We were in the the movie exhibit. That was so cool. And, yeah. uh, which was fantastic, by the way, if you're a fan of the movie. Lots of props and costumes, and also scripts. Austin Butler has big feet. Huge. <laughs> yeah. He's like a big puppy with great well, big feet. That was the thing in the movie that would always catch my eye, especially the scene um, where he's crying on the steps of Graceland. When he's yeah. The like, I always got really captivated by his feet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so seeing his yeah. shoes, I'm like, they really are big. Yeah, he looks like a, they look like basketball player <laughs> shoes. Yeah. About going to Memphis is that so much of it is very accessible. It's like you can get to everything in a pretty short period of time. It's a big city and there's a lot to see, and there's a lot of history yeah. and things that are just right there, you know. Yeah, um, it's very accessible, it's a very easy town to navigate. I think lots of um, big history, too, you know, big history. The, um, the uh, Civil Rights Museum. And, uh, Which is amazing, amazing. Yeah, if you're a really good Memphis, museum. You do not want to miss the Very well museum. done. Very well done. Beale Street is like its own little country. You could spend a day on Beale Street just exploring everything. Um, like there's neat stores and you know like souvenir places if you like to do that when you travel. Um, but also museums and um, just lots of really interesting stuff to see. Great live music, great food. If you go at night, oh God. it is lit. Um. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, really yeah fun. they've got they, the, the streets are closed off, and you've got a you've got they wand you before you go through. So if you're packing, you know you need to leave your stuff in the car. But it is, uh, it's a party. Um. Oh yeah, people are people have got their great big you know big drinks that you know look like bongs that people carry around. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're just drinking them in public. And, yeah. Staggering yeah. around. Oh, I mean, there's so much to take like, in. Like New Orleans, yeah. you know, like if you're in the French Quarter. First thing we do when we get to Memphis, go to, you know, go to Marlowe's. Before we even check in the hotel. Yeah, we just go straight yeah, to Marlowe's. We're like all like bedraggled and like driving yeah. from being on, in the car for 13 hours. Yeah, it's um, like it's like the clubhouse, you yeah. know. You just go there, check in, see who's there, people watch a little bit. And, you know, people who've been there are going to know what I'm talking about. Marlowe's has this very comforting 
um, like very familiar with the smell of the barbecue sauce when you first walk in. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's this great scent, you know, it's so Memphis. Yeah, we're home. Um, <laughs> Welcome home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You people have been to Disney resorts, you, you know. <laughs> you definitely don't want to miss Marlowe's. We were like literally Disney World tired this year. We were, we were cramming so much in, and the days were yeah. so long. And it's hot. And it's hot. I mean, the heat. It's hot. Yeah, the, the heat cannot be over us, underestimated. Yeah, I cannot hot, overstate. Man. All right, so what did we need to, to mention anything else that we did? Oh. Lots of great footage. Go check out our three Elvis Week videos, one, two, and three. We tried to capture a little bit of the flavor, a little bit of the diversity of experiences that you can have at that time. Yeah. And also some of the great folks that we met. I mean, that's one of the best things about coming is meeting all the other Elvis fans and that sense of community. Um, you know, I mean, the people there are just great and the energy is great. We met some characters this year. We really did. We really yeah. did. And one and thing... Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, one thing I absolutely love is, like, if you have your Elvis wear, your yes. bedazzled Elvis t-shirts... That's you know, just that, what I was getting ready to yeah, say. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> This you, is the place to wear them. Look, Welcome. you Disney folks, you Disney folks know about bounding, right? Um, where you don't dress like a character, but you dress character adjacent. And um, so if you don't know, look that up, bounding Disney. And we've noticed this year that we're seeing a lot more of it at Elvis Week. You know, people are dressing like 50s, they're dressing like the 70s. The 60s, you know, like one of the people we yeah. talked to had one of those victory dues, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, from the 40s. I really noticed an uptick in younger people there this year and people that were kind of really having fun with this cosplay element of it. Yeah. Um, with really cool, like, 50s inspired, they weren't all Elvis costumes per se, um, but some no. of them were just like 50s inspired or even the bail name. Like, I noticed people doing things like um, maybe wearing not trying to mimic or wear exactly like Elvis's comeback vessel leather suit, for example, but wearing something that kind of referenced it. Yeah. Um, you know, like maybe black leather shorts and a black shirt and a red scarf or something like that. It's kind of a new spin on things, you know, but I think it's great. Um, yeah, it's fun. Really fun to see that. Yeah. I, I think the movie has something to do with that. Yeah, I think um, the movie had something you know. to do with it too. So, okay, I think, was that everything? I think so. Oh yeah. my. <laughs> we had so much fun making the videos though, and we just really, really wanted to show you some of the highlights, um, some of the cool things you can do. And I'd also like to take the opportunity to thank everyone who has subscribed to Trav Elvis. Thank you. Yes, we are you. a brand new little fledgling YouTube channel, and some of you guys have really responded to some of our videos in a big way. And uh, we can't thank you enough. That is so gratifying. If you're watching the content, you like what you see, you know the drill, right? Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you to everyone who has written encouraging comments. Thank you so much. That means so much. Um, I'm like amazed that anybody would find me interesting on camera at all. Um, <laughs> you're the star of the show, man. I'm just like if the you, gaffer. If you knew me, the key in, grip. If you knew me in real life, I am like so socially awkward <laughs> and shy. <laughs> um, <laughs> I really am. It's great, and we appreciate it. Thank you so um, much. And don't forget, you know, it's like a YouTube cliche now, but it really is true. The 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 infamous algorithm. Uh, the only way YouTubers get ahead is with those likes. Even if you just like, or even if you just comment, all of it helps the channel. Uh, because YouTube sees that, it goes, oh, people are responding to this, and the algorithm pushes them a little bit. So, any interaction, you know. Of course, we want subs, but anything's appreciated. And um, we have lots more content planned. So, if you're liking what you see, uh, jump on board. We've got a lot in store for you. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so that's bench warming number two. I think we're going to do a bench warming every year. Maybe we'll do one after birth week and after Elvis week every year. We'll just kind of unpack we'll everything a little bit. Yeah, yeah, degrees. yeah. It's therapy for us. Okay, so is that it? I think that's it. All right, so we're signing off from the county fair. Thank you so much. All right, y'all.